Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about and breaking down probably one of the hardest controllers to learn at first, Astro. If you haven't already, don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe down below and comment if you find this guide helpful. So let's get right into the video. So unlike other agents, Astra has all the abilities given to her at the beginning of the game. However, there's a catch. There is something called a star system when it comes to Astra, where even though I place down four stars, I only have four of those per round. So you want to be very careful when you use them and when not to use them. So for the abilities, you have the stun, then you got a suction, then you got the regular smoke. However, the next one is actually a pretty cool feature you can do is even though you place down the star, you can recall it back and it's a temporarily fake smoke. And for her alt, the best way to describe it is it's a huge giant viper harbor wall. However, bullets can't go through it and it blocks off complete sound on either side. So the other, if the wall's like this, okay, and I'm dividing half a site, it's hard to hear what's happening on the other side. However, and bullets can't go through it. However, equipment can. So shock darts, viper mollies, brim molly, so on, so on, so on, can go through it, just bullets can't. Unlike other agents, Astra has the ability to probably be one of the best lurkers in the game, especially because of the universal ability when it comes to her smokes. And so I would suggest on offense, more likely you want to be the one lurking on your team. However, that's not always the case, especially if there's a cypher on your team. However, universally, when you're going down, placing down these smokes, it's usually in the exact same position when it comes to any other smoker. The only difference is you have to notify that Astra has 15 second smokes, I believe, about. And her smokes are a lot bigger than compared to the others. So for me, when I'm smoking with Astra, I'll go and I'll just smoke the regular positions. And once my team wants to hit, I can all I have to do is pop it. And bam. However, potentially if you want to use the other portions of your util, because you don't just have smokes, you have a stunt and a suction. So what you want to do is maybe place your stars, other stars in specific locations where a lot of people like to hide. So for example, sometimes I like to stun or place a star right here. So either I am going to be stunning here or I'll be sucking here. If you get sucked, it's you get vulnerable and you get slowed. However, if you get stunned, you become con concussed and it's basically just like the breach flat or a breach stun. So stunning these locations is especially a good idea when you're hitting a site with your team. So you want to stun popular areas that your team has an easier time hitting the site. And the same thing goes with her Astro Ball. Sometimes you want to use it to actually take a site hard where I would use it to block off an entire area, especially on the offense. And it's very hard, especially for the opposing team to actually know what's going on because they can't hear anything and majority of the time, depending on how big your team is to attacking this particular site, it should be a free site win. And now when it comes to lurking, sometimes you want to like bait out enemy stuff where just because you place here doesn't mean you have to go there. Like you can draw a lot of enemy rotations with your fake Astro stars. I can pull those back. I don't waste anything. They just go back onto a cooldown and I believe the cooldowns around like 20 seconds ish. I'm not. I can't remember the cooldown number off the top of my head, but it's not that long of a cooldown. Like still on the offense, if you want to sell a fake, maybe you want to go here, bam, bam. It's a, like, it's a two second thing as well. And you might get a free pick. So what a lot of pro Ashers like to do is place down one of her stars. And they know that an enemy person is in a specific location. They may jiggle peek it, fake star it. And the enemy team might be out of position because they, they expect in the back of their head, oh wait, is this a proper star? Or sorry, this is a proper smoke? No. So I recalls back and usually the enemy is in it, out of position. Enemy now when it comes to post plants, when the bomb is planted down, I like to think of one step ahead. I like to keep at least one star with me, especially for these 1v1 scenarios. So let's just say an enemy team is looking to defuse the bomb and I have one star left and I'm in this 1v1. Well, unlike other agents, I don't ha I can just literally just place my stuff onto the bomb and I can take my sweet ass time. They can't destroy these Astro stars. Like you literally can't. So you, the enemy team has to bait them out, but majority of the time, no one really does. So. I hear a tap, bam. 
That's it's pretty quick, and it's probably in a quick, easy stun kill. Ten seconds left. Fight planted. So like on like offense, Astro is a pure controller based agent. However, unlike um on defense, Astra is still a controller, but she can also really play that sentinel role that not a lot of people know about. Where hitting the site, especially with an Astro, is very hard. So where I like to smoke off a choke, like on C, so I place a simple smoke. I might place another star right here, so when an enemy pushes a specific specific site, I either stun them, suction them, and then maybe I can get a raise nade or I swing off of this, and it might be a free easy kill. But on defense, you also want to be wary that sometimes they're not going to hit you, so you got to also act like a universal controller. So this is a situation where, on a map like Haven, I might have one star here, one star here, and unfortunately, this is a bit tricky over here. So I, you would have to choose which, where your enemies or your teammates are playing, and you would have to choose your star placement when it comes to here. Now you only have four star placements, so let's just say there's a hard rush A. I might call this back, place one right here, and I, I look at the mini map. Okay. The th thing is, especially with the Astra, and especially if you don't have that many comms, you want to look at the mini map. So I might just cross map suction them. All this back now i only have two stars left so i have two stars for the post plant so let's just say uh the post plant and we place it down we're in a let's i don't know like a 1v3 2v3 my best my best scenario that i want to do as an astro is i want to get to the bomb as fast as i can and witness where the bomb because if i can get onto the bomb i can smoke it off and go for the potential defuse or i can play with it and really bait out the enemy team because most if you smoke a bomb, it turns into a roulette game. And sometimes you're not going to get those easy kills through the smoke. Sometimes the enemy will stick the whole bomb defuse. So on, until you actually hear footsteps, you, it's, you're unsure. So let's just say the bomb's down. My goal is obviously to clear out potential locations. And I get to the where the bomb is. I will then hold the defuse. Now if I hear certain things, I might play off. And really bait out because this is so you can visually see the whole of the smoke on like like brim smokes and astro smokes you can see like the whole inside and it's really easy to play within it compared to other smokes so let's just say i'm hitting retaking a site with my team i have maybe one star for post plant just so i know where the bomb is planted and maybe i have a star in a specific location where the enemies like to hide so i might place a star here now this star especially on a enemies don't know what i'm going to do with this star I can either smoke it off, I can concuss, I can suck. Like, you have so many potential opportunities what to do. When it comes to Astro, especially just on a general basic tip, you really want to bait out enemies. And especially if you're caught in these scenarios where you're alone, never engage a gunfight where it's completely a 50-50 duel. If I fake this smoke, I know this smoke is going to be fake, and so I can wide swing off an enemy, no problem, but they don't know it's fake. So if I know an enemy is over here, maybe I can just pull it back, get my crosshair ready, and then get ready for that fight is no problem. However, the enemies, from a perspective, is like... An enemy might be over here be like, they see a smoke like this. Uh, oh, oh shit, and they're crosshair, they're maybe potentially expecting something over here, but... Turns out it's actually a fake smoke and it's a simple easy kill. Astra is somewhat kind of like Yoru where it's also really based on deception where if you place two smokes down in specific locations, just placing a star in a specific location actually might deter enemies from actually going to that location. So what I potentially might happen where I might smoke off heaven, I might fake smoke this, pull this back, and then bam, I can swing that. 
hit the enemy over here, bam, and I just cleared sight. It's not always about using all your util at once. It's also about some, sometimes surprising your enemies. I don't always have to use my stars. Sometimes pulling them back is deceptive enough where you can really bait out an enemy. Astra has the ability to be everywhere at once, but never actually have to be in the gunfight. I will generally say Astra is not the hardest agent to play. However, she is overwhelming to play at first. But once you get used to her kit and how to play around her kit, she becomes actually a pretty simple agent. It just takes a bit team coordination to actually capitalize on her gameplay. So that's it for the video, everybody. Hope everybody has a wonderful night. Stay tuned for more Valorant content. And don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time.